obviously the, the last four weeks you guys have been kind of knocking on that door just get so close mm -hmm. what was it like just seeing the guys finally be able to, to break down the door get that w for their hard work oh it was a special moment it's, it was funny i was telling a friend of mine you know we've been playing hard all season and i've cried after the games because these guys deserve to win and I was like, we win, and I'm still crying because we, <laughs> we won. And I was just like, man, I'm a big baby. But these guys have been playing so hard and not giving in. And, you know, with the adversity that's been you know, presented in front of them, you know, just with the injuries, the allegations and all this stuff, these guys have held their own. They've come to practice every day and practice hard, and it shows in the game. And, you know, they've been, they've been, playing, they've been playing hard, and I, and I love them for it. Have you seen the guys kind of, you know, take just you know, kind of the struggles of the year, just kind of, you know, putting forth that effort, not quite getting that result? And, you know, Kenny talks about, you know, the law, it's their lessons, not losses. And, mm -hmm. of course, the bamboo metaphor of just mm -hmm. ultimately getting to fruition. Have you seen the guys kind of seeing the big picture maybe just, you know, even though the, the pain in the moment of a loss, but knowing that it's maybe it's laying the groundwork for something better down the road? Yes, absolutely. And it's starting to show, you know what I'm saying, on both sides, on all three phases of the game. You know, these guys aren't – there's no quitting them. They keep fighting and fighting and fighting, you know, and – uh that's all you can ask for, you know. New guys keep fighting, keep playing because it could be easy to fold the tent and just be like, and talk the season about the loss, and then that's when you start getting blown out. Because you know, bad things start to happen, yeah. and those aren't happening. Good things are happening in this program. The record does not indicate what's going on with this team and this group of guys. They're a very special group. You know, some guys are playing for the next step in the journey in their life. You know, what I'm saying so they can't just go like you took a Deshaun Mallory. You know, his his goal and dreams go to NFL. And, we, you know, my job is to make sure he gets there, you know. And, and with him, too, he has to reciprocate what I'm coaching and doing and what he's doing. But as a unit up front, that's what these guys are doing. They're playing hard. We're having fun, you know. And like I said, losing sucks. And, I, and it was funny because I was telling a friend of mine the other day, we're playing. There. He's like, you guys are playing hard. You're doing well. And I said, yeah, they, they're playing so hard that I cry after the games because they deserve to win. He said, well, what'd you do this week? I said, I cried again because they did win. And I was just, and they played, you know, they played well. So um, as long as they keep doing that, um, it'll be a lifetime of memories. They can talk about how their record was, but with the special bonds and, and, and friendships they have created because they have faced adversity and they've been sticking together and still doing well. Um, did you see like over the you know prior to last week, but just you know obviously the defense has been one of the best units uh, top to bottom in the entire conference. But mm -hmm. offense has obviously been ravaged by injuries and have mm -hmm. suffered, suffered some inconsist inconsistencies there. Did you see kind of any frustration, just like you know the defense going out there doing their job while the offense you know is you know still struggling trying to find his feet, in, in, which they did last week. So that's the one thing that cannot happen. We can't get frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not an offense against defense. And this and that. We are one unit. We are one team. So we supported them and we kept, you know, the fight with them. And, you know, these guys get along so well um, that we was like, come on, you know, let's go. You know, even with the whole line being beat up and this guy stands up. But I mean, you show it every every week the offense was progressing, getting better, getting yeah. better, getting better. And then you see it against Washington. I mean, I mean against uh, Washington State that, you know, they flourished and, and they executed. And uh, I mean, it was a shoot, they helped us out the first half, you know. Yeah. And, uh, this is a team effort. It's a team effort. And once we cannot uh, detour from each other, you know, we can't do that because if we do that, then it's bad business. And like I said, this is a team sport, the ultimate team sport, and we have to stick together. Talking about Deshaun Mallory, which you mentioned a moment ago, one of the key additions, I believe, yeah. eight tackles for loss on this season. Just, yeah. It seems like every week is one of the highest graded linemen in the conference, if not yeah. the country. How is it? How gratifying has it been for you as a coach just to see him, a guy that you mentioned, kind of wanted to take a take a chance and to shine, and is really like maximizing that opportunity. Yeah, you know, just knowing his journey and how he got here and what it took for for us to get him here, because it almost didn't happen. Yeah. And uh, we kept the fight, you know. And he's a special player, you know. And I tell people, he's one of the best guys I've ever coached. You know, just his mindset, um, how he, he approaches, he's about his business. We do have fun, you know, doing what we do. But when he when he goes out there in the field, it's a it's a every week when I grade the film, it's a thing of beauty to watch to grade him and watch what he does and you know um, just his movements, his twitch, his power. You know, I mean, it's just yeah, I'm in awe of him. You know, and. Um, you know, you get Mallory, BJ Green, and Prince Dorbas, and you know the whole <laughs> unit. I mean, you know, these guys are going out and playing their balls off, and I love them. Well, that pass rushing trio of BJ, Prince, and, and Clayton just mm -hmm. uh, putting together just terrorizing efforts uh, yeah. every week. Yeah. What's it been like to see them, and kind of also the, the help that they provide to the guys inside? You know, there's one guy that you can't you can't sleep on that doesn't get the credit is Mike Matus. Mm -hmm. 
you know, he's a he's like a general out there. You know, even on the sideline with me, we're talking and communicating about stuff, but he's a general on the field. So, yeah, you got, you know, Clayton and Prince and BJ doing their thing, but out on the field, Matus is lining them up and getting them right, talking to them, and, and you look at his production too, it's there. You know, it's there. But those guys are getting sacks and talking for losses. But without Mike Matus, so, some of these things might not happen as well as they're happening out there. So I definitely want to give him a shout out you know, and, and a, an appreciation of what he's been doing. And it's been a pleasure to be able to coach him as well. Uh, looking at Utah, obviously, year in, year out there, just big, nasty dudes on that line. What are some things that kind of jump out to what, what they like to do this year in the, in the trenches? They're physical, you know, so we have to be physical too. You know, you, we're more of a speed to power, speed team. You know, we play the run on the way the quarterback. Um, so if we can get them in, you know, uh, a passing down situation, that's where we'll flourish. But we have to be uh, put our big boy pads on this week and be physical and can't be finessed because they will try to run the ball down our throats. It's one of the more hostile atmospheres in the entire mm -hmm. conference. Uh, and what is the message to the guys? Just you know, obviously try to you know stay disciplined in, in mm -hmm. an atmosphere that uh, really kind of isn't conducive to staying disciplined. Yeah, just just staying focused, you know. And that's a, us on us as coaches to make sure we keep them wired in and dialed in. But like I said, it's going to be a physical game. Like I said, a hostile environment. Um, we can't let that get to us and just keep go out and do what we continue to have been doing.